What happens when some of Marvel's most massively malevolent monsters all move to the big city? Sounds like a sitcom I'd watch. It's not a sitcom. It's... <laughs> hey, what are you doing? I can actually handle my own fourth wall breaking, buddy. <laughs> As I was saying, today we're gonna find out how my life got flipped turned upside down when I became king of the monsters on Marvel's Long Story Short. I can tone down my language for network. Our story begins in the least visited of New York's boroughs, Staten Island. In the 17th century, some settlers signed a treaty with some monsters. The monsters got legal ownership of the island, and the settlers got not eaten. Fast forward a few hundred years, and the monsters have finally come to take control of their property. No big wreck. Oh! It's Staten Island. They'll be gone as soon as they find out the ferry prices. I think we just let them be. What's this? A contract to kill the monsters in return for a bunch of gold bars? Dang! And I can help. This is Elsa Bloodstone, some famous monster hunter or something. And she's not getting any of my gold bars! You know whoever kills the king of the monsters becomes the king of the monsters, right? Oh. So yeah, I was king of the monsters now. And I decided to step up to the plate. I was going to achieve harmony between the humans of Staten Island and their new monster neighbors. Okay, humans on this side of the island, monsters on this side! Hmm, this actually does make a pretty good sitcom. Are you kidding? Who is killing monsters in my all-ages info comedy show? It was me, the ultimate hunter, Craven. Don't you mean bootleg Craven? Hey, don't talk about that. Everyone already knows you're a clone. Oh, oh, oh. So I fought Craven to honor the memories of my monster friends. Just as I was about to lose, Elsa jumped in to save the day. This is saving me? Don't be such a baby. The bullet just sends you to a different dimension for a few seconds. See? You should still ask before you shoot someone with a trans-dimensional bullet. Anyway, let's finish this fight. Crack and shout, Craven. Don't worry, there's 86 more where that came from. Stop telling people I'm a clone! But dramatic twist. After this, Elsa reveals she's infected with a bone beast. Ugh, monsters from another dimension who want to devour everything in our world, especially bones. Help me! Off to the bone beast universe. But when we get there, it turns out it's all a big setup. Bone beast queen actually wants to swap Elsa for me as her host bot. My infection. It's getting worse. Guess we gotta take the bone infection out of you and put it into me. <sighs> Let it go, Elsa. Had to say it. Wink. <sighs> Now to feed myself to the bone beast. What? And blow myself up. <laughs> I can't be a host body if I don't have a body. That's science. And you can't narrate. I mean, technically I can. Now back home in Staten Island, Deadpool recruits a team of monsters to protect New York alongside him and Elsa. Forget sitcom, this is an epic prestige genre show. Definitely an hour long on a streaming service. <laughs> Then everything is mostly back to normal, except for the prophecy that says the monster god will come to kill the king of the monsters in 2022. Gotta save something for season two. But I'll talk all about that on another episode of Marvel's Long Story Short. You mean I will? <laughs> Not again! <laughs>